Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And this morning we are celebrating a global running day. Yes, there is a day like that. And Africa's first Abbott World Marathon major candidate, the Cape Town Marathon, is ready to join the likes of London, New York, Boston, Berlin and Tokyo as major marathon destinations. And the race is for athletes who aim to achieve fast times and for first-time runners like myself that did it last year who want to finish their inaugural marathon. Marathon. Now, here to tell us more about the race is Cape Town Marathon CEO Clark Gonda. It's great to have you here. I mean, this is major for Cape Town. I know last year we unpacked this quite significantly, but I think a question we forgot to actually ask is, what is the process involved to become a major candidate? Morning, Zoe, and morning to all the viewers. Thank you for that. Um, to become an Abbott World Marathon Majors is a three-year assessment process. Um, and if you qualify on certain criteria, you then become one of those majors and we'll be seven majors if we qualify. What's important about that is suddenly the prestige. There's mm. elite runners want to come participate as it's part of a series. Um, you've got the six star medalists, the traveling <clears throat> thousands of city traveling uh, tourists that come run marathons all over the world. There's hundreds of thousands of them and they get a six star medal if they complete all the world marathon majors. And then obviously you've just got traveling city runners that now has put Cape Town on the map um, in, in all its uh, major advertising and marketing. This is gonna be one of the big, big and best marathons in the world. And that attracts tourists. Mm. And, and that's important for South Africa. We need this good news. We need that industry to develop. So it, it, we'll attract, we'll allow around about 10,000 international runners once we become a major. They travel with about two and a half people. Sure. So it's just over 20,000 tourists per year. Um, and they spend 10,000 rand a night. So it's very important uh, for Cape Town, for South Africa, but also for Africa. It will be our first major in a sport we really excel at. Yes. 85% uh, of the top 50 elite uh, marathon runners are from Africa. So it, it, certainly the stars will align if we can make this happen. It definitely will. And how far is the Cape Town Marathon in this process? So this is year two of okay. a three-year process, and we need two consecutive years to meet all the criteria. Um, it's hard. Uh, a lot of it is in our control, and we have um, sponsors that are all fully behind it. It's incredible to see their support. Um, also the city. The city is really helping us, like getting the cars off the road, park cars off the road, full road closure. All those are, are really logistical nightmares that the city comes to the, the, comes to the party with. But we can't do this on our own. We need participants. Mm. A big number, a big criteria that's out of our control is the number of finishes. Okay. So we need 15,000, we believe we need 15,000 entries this year and 15,000 finishes next year. And if we do that, we become a major. Okay. But that needs everyone that can run to enter and run. And as you know, it's, it's merely five, six hours a week that you need to commit from now till October. And then you can run a marathon, as you discovered last and, year. And it's doable. It is doable. I mean, I went from not being able to run 10 kilometers to being able to do the full Cape Town Marathon in five and a half hours. And, and that was in a 13-week training space. So it is possible. Now, I know that throughout the years, the Cape Town Marathon has made some changes to the route. What have been some of those changes to, to align with becoming a major? Sure, so, I mean, a big part is removing the bridge uh, last year from Betenkracht. It's uh, the World Marathon Majors won't allow a pinch point like that. Okay. So we cross Betenkracht. This year we've made it in uh, much faster. We've eliminated the District 6 hill, uh, as they call it. I, I literally, with that marathon, I was just like, it's before the hill and after the hill. That's how you had to view the marathon. Very fair, because it is at the 28K mark, or was. Um, so now you go straight past the uh, City Hall, um, and we have an additional loop in Beach Road uh, in Granger Bay area where the, the roads are now wider, so we've enabled the start and finish to take place in that uh, precinct. So on Fritz Sonnenberg is the start, and Flay Road is the finish. But the other changes, so it's fast, it's 90 meters less vert. Um, it'll be very fast this year, it's 190 meters only in elevation. Um, but I think what to expect this year is us removing barriers for participants to come run. Okay. So if you want to run uh, and you need a training program, our portal has a full training program for the, the, the time you want to run. If you don't like queues that put off a lot of people at eventing, we promise no queue longer than 10 minutes. Not for toilets, not for registration, Aww. not anywhere. 
And then also affordability. We also believe that you know, times are tough. There's a lot of people that can run, that can't afford an entry. And so we've got a campaign this year of 1,000 free entries where you, you apply online. Uh, we've already got thousands of applications and we will award free entries to those that uh, can't afford it because we need runners, we need participants. And it's everyone's chance to contribute to our economy because they know as a finisher, they're allowing us to become a world marathon major, which has a huge significant positive impact on our economy, our city and our country. And I mean, running is in us. We as South Africans, we love being active, especially, you know, you see it with all the different sporting events taking place. I know that you have the portal for people, you know, needing entries for free. Is there also a space where corporates or individuals can sponsor runners so that they can at least sponsor their entry fee? They can speak to us, our race office. At the moment, we have a number of corporates that do uh, bulk entries, we okay. call them, and they can enter for their employees or their clients. So that's certainly a, a function that they can contact uh, the race office and access those entries. And it's a big part of obviously getting the gears yes. and making sure and if you can't participate, also those corporates are creating spectator points. Um, and that gears is important for the runners. You can ask the likes of yourself or Ashraf, I saw he's here this morning. Yes. Um, you need that gears going, otherwise uh, it's just another, another run. It's in fact. Well, Clark, it's great having you here. Thank you for shedding some light. We are looking forward to it. I know this is just the start of the conversations we'll be having because the Cape Town Marathon is taking place this October. Of course, if it is something you want to do, I would highly encourage you to do that. And speaking of fitness, we love it here on our show. Let's get into some more fitness for today.